G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a Junkies minigun with bullets exploding for area damage and faster movement speed whilst aiming, major and minor legendary effects respectively. The faster movement speed whilst aiming was once upon a time broken, probably still is, but you get that benefit no matter whether you're aiming down sights or not, so it's kind of like a permanent movement speed boost, which is nice if you're using this thing outside of power armor where um, it would give you a movement penalty, but we're going to be in power armor and that kind of slows us down anyway, but irrelevant, I'm just rambling. Anyways, so this thing's doing 32 damage, we've got the accelerated barrel, whilst that cuts down on our range slightly, we're going to be in Strangler Heart power armor and spewing more bullets out of this will help the uh, poison or the acid stack heaps more, allowing us to do more damage, so I'm not too worried about the range. Uh, 32 damage. It's not terrible, let's go ahead and chuck some perks onto this to boost it, and then we'll get some chem stacked on. So let me just find all of the heavy gunner perks. There they are. It's an explosive heavy weapon, but it's not a launcher. That's the difference. It's not a grenade launcher type weapon or an RPG, like the missile launcher Fat Man, or a grenade launcher. So demo expert and um, heavy gunner works, and we'll go over to... Luck, Chuck on Bloody Mess, also got One Gun Army, Dodgy is there to reduce a little bit of damage, Action Girl to bring back the AP faster so he can take more hits and have less damage on them, Green Thumb can probably go away. And with that we get 66 damage which is a, a funny Palpatine number so that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and eat some of these chems shall we? Now I've prepared a couple, I've got a list in my noggin so this daddyo can go. Usually takes about five of these. Medics. Mentats. Okay. That was all Mentats. So we're up to 85 now. It took the game a little bit to um, actually do it. But I wonder if I can... Okay. Apparently booze, you take a little bit more. But I was thinking five could do it. So we'll just go buff out instead. And I think I had one more. Yeah, it was probably Psycho. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go, there is five addictions there, that's the maximum you can boost these things. If it was any more than that, you could possibly out-damage bloodied, which would be interesting. I wonder if they'll ever do that, but now we're doing 101 damage, which is pretty good. And remember, we don't have any um, extra bonuses on, um, what's it called, uh, the Nerd Rage or Adrenal Reaction going, and whilst I'm remembering what perks to put on, I think Stabilize won't go astray. There we go, loadout's fully done, let's go and shoot stuff. Okay, so all it would have taken was one more hit of alcohol. I just had some old possum, and just to prove to you that it doesn't increase the damage, we're still on 111, which is a Fallout 4 number. Cool. Okay, so apparently we've got pretty shit weather here today at Moody's Plaza, but here is my minigun. Now, I'm noticing that I'm not getting the reload benefits out of this, so I'll quickly unequip and reequip the weapon. It looks like Little Red Riding Hood is packing some major heat these days. Let's get started on the Super Mutants, shall we? Not too fussed about hitting them from this further back because he's just going to melt over time and it's going to be fun. But if we sneak in a little bit closer here, we won't get that huge um, penalty because we're slightly out of range and we'll have no problem taking these moody bastards out. Yep, no problem whatsoever. So a couple of problems with the minigun still exist. If you even dare to aim down sights whilst the barrel is spinning up, well, look what happens. Absolutely nothing. You don't fire the weapon at all. It just breaks. This has been around since ages. It's It's been around for a long time, and I really would like to see it removed, but you're know, seeing how they fix the um, bug with the... Uh, 250 damage resistance reload thing I'm doing 166 now which is yep about what we'd expect from 60% boost on that plus a little bit more from adrenal reaction but yeah seeing how they've fixed a couple other bugs they can probably just leave it I don't want my minigun to stop firing altogether because I decided to aim down sights when the barrel wasn't spinning up because well I don't know they, they need to actually start testing their mods, their fixes, not their mods. They can test the mods if they want, they test the new content, sure, that makes sense. Would I wouldn't mind having um, Wastelanders come out as not a buggy, broken mess, but yeah, um, it's just some basic testing, see if things actually work, and we would have probably, you know, didn't have to, wouldn't have to deal with that whole kerfuffle with the unyielding stuff just going away. 
probably doesn't say a lot about this game that I'm saying, no, don't fix this, please. Everything works fine and is broken as it is, but it works better right now. But I'll stop talking shit about Bethesda. More about this weapon. So as you can tell, the TTK on this is devastating. The splash damage whilst... Nice, that doggo almost killed me. Luckily, I'm not using a bloodied minigun, and my reaction time was enough to make sure I stopped shooting there, but my power armor was probably a little bit worse for wear. Wow, this super mutant's really annoyed at me. Too bad I can't nail him with splash damage. So I'm getting about 24 points of damage with the splash, which is not too bad because I'm firing all of these bullets, and all of those explosions do trigger the acid um, status legend, or uh, I guess the status effect, would you call it that? Being staggered, that's okay, he's only got a board, which means we can tank that. L listen, mate, all you're doing is boosting my adrenal reaction, which means you're gonna die. Huh, he was remarkably resistant to those splash damages, that was just Fallout being Fallout there. Luckily, I've still got a jetpack in my emergency protocols. Oops, I broke the weapon again. How dare I decide to aim down sights. My goodness, there's a lot of super mutants in here. I'm just going to keep on firing. Yep, that seemed to get him. So luckily, we've got the ammo capacity to deal with a lot of targets, the DPS to deal with the targets quickly, and the explosions to throw around the um, the damage. Oh, it's minigun on minigun action here. But yeah, I'm not going to let him fire. And I got a furious ski sword because of that. That guy picked up a minigun, so I actually got... A full mag there, which is good. Um, I do have 60,000 5 mils on me, so it's not going to be too much of a problem if I do expend a few more bullets here and there, because um, they're a dime a dozen, really. They're really easy to find, but, you know, it's good to see the super mutants sharing their toys. Sharing is caring, as you all know. And I'm over capacity, because my stash is filled to the brim. I need to actually lose a little bit, but... I'm gonna keep on going. We're not done here yet. I might have to do some quick inventory management before I head inside though. Okay, so what I want to do is probably use as much fusion core as possible, which means jetpacking! Yay! No, uh, actually, no, that, that makes my... that makes it cut down on dodgy. So this is not the best place to be. Um, I'm gonna go in here, and then I'll have a much better place to hold out from. Since I'm using a big old loud minigun, they shouldn't have two much trouble actually finding me, so long as their path and can actually navigate them around. See, there's one. It looks like we're hitting him for about 100 per shot, which is solid for a minigun. You know, it's it's firing this fast, the DPS is going to be piling up at this point, and just taking a peek at the damage whilst you're in Nerd Rage. Let me just find the weapon here. 231, so you know, we're a little bit off what a blade explosive minigun is, but you know, a lot of that damage was because of junkies, that extra 50% boost, so technically you don't have to be in this state of health with, a, with adrenal reaction and, and, and nerd rage all the way up to actually do well with this, but, you know, it's fun to, you know, overkill super mutants like this, and, you know, like I'm usually talking about with these sorts of weapons, ammo efficiency is one of the main things. Now, the problem is I can't sprint right now, so I'm going to have to outpath him, which is easy. There we go. I think we're just about done here. Let's move on to some ghouls. Alright, so some weight management and some robot price checker haggling later. It's time to face the ghouls, which I'm going to do my usual tactic of just riling them all up and luring them out the front door to be brutally gunned down by uh, a, a minigun. I've got no... I got no adjectives for it, but maybe a crackhead's mini gun. There we go. Well, the numbers, the numbers are like heroin to me. I love seeing the damage numbers spray all over the screen like that. That's the mark of a really good game. If the damage numbers cover up everything so you can't see a thing, that means you're doing good. That means your weapon is powerful. I'm even getting damage numbers what appears to be already dead corpses. Apparently, you're trying to flank me, which is not going to work for I have a jetpack. Yeah, you didn't think that one through, did you, you dumb zombies? See, I'm not going to let them have it easy today, these bloody ghouls. I'm going to teach them a lesson. Plus, the gangrenous ones have a bit of damage over time with them, so... You know, not being hit by those guys is good. There's another one. There you go. And then a couple of other ones. 
And we're done here. Would have done this in one mag if I hadn't have prematurely reloaded there. So yeah, in terms of ammo efficiency, she's doing pretty good. Still in danger somehow. Oh wait, I'll give myself one guess, of course. Okay, now we're done. Let's move on. Ah oh, yeah, there's also this guy, which, you know, he needs to go down. There you go. Now you've all heard of Stealth Commando, but you, have you ever heard of Stealth Minigun? Swan hasn't, because he's dead. I wonder if these crabs will, will have heard about Stealth Minigunner. Probably not, but I'm going to do this anyway because, you know, there's everything stealthy about this. When you think of stealth, do you think of the, the ancient Japanese ninjas, or do you think of some person in power armor? with a very shiny minigun, and if you answered the latter, then you are correct. This is indeed stealthy. See? This my work over here. He's not gonna know what hit him. And there he goes. There's Mummy. She's coming out to see. Everyone's saying, Mom, something, some phantom is attacking me. Okay. Fight's on now, Queenie. Now it's off because you're dead. Okay, this thing is pretty powerful, yeah. Okay, it's Hans Mole Man again, and he's he's packing some serious heat down there. A big old tube that fires rockets out of it, so, you know, you kind of want to keep your distance, but... Yeah, they're kind of squishy, and I've got glow sight, so... It shouldn't be a problem if I can bounce splash damage around the corner. There's one. But yeah, you can keep your distance. They can hurt pretty bad. Luckily, none of them have got any heat-seeking missiles, but... <laughs> it was kind of cool for me to jetpack in the air and then have two missiles fly past. That one was a little bit too close. You know, those missiles are going to come down to Earth sometime and they're going to kill some poor innocent puppies. Be quiet, Discord. And... Shit, he's a, f he's, he's a talented reloader. Um, unfortunately, I made him drop his gun, which... Doesn't happen a lot in Fallout 76. That's bizarre. Generally, enemies don't actually drop their guns. Um, the game has a huge aversion to having actual 3D objects in the game because obviously players would just jump, drop a bunch of shit and crash servers with it. That's why you drop everything in a baggie. So you're know, seeing enemies do that feels like some sort of oversight that they must have had. Anyways, let's kill some bats. Okay, so here's the single greatest jewel in the history, a level 50 feral ghoul and a level 68 squash conqueror back down. Okay, I've wasted enough time on you boss, so I want to kill the bats. Here we go. Come a little bit closer, we need to talk. That's the stuff. Right there, right where I want ya. And you can just melt to death. Excellent. There you go, I told you the damage over time would make some good use. Whoops, I fucked the thing again. Hang on. Aim down sights first. There we go. Look at that accuracy. Look at that accuracy. Uh, so adrenaline's probably like at maximum now. Not getting... Hey, it's my survival tent. That's interesting. Excuse me, no, we were done with ghouls an hour ago. Go away. And clear out the rest of these turds. Who else is around here? So... Compared to the amount of Scorched I saw yesterday during the Scorched Earth event, looks like they've upped their patrols, but I guess they didn't expect someone looting a goddamn minigun. Ah yes, here we go. That's what I want to see. 512 XP. Also, um, my special stats don't look very good at the moment. Go away. Well, I can't believe I just dodged two melee attacks just by standing there and doing nothing. Anyways, I think you get the idea of this weapon. It's really strong, and I would highly recommend it. I've got a bloodied version of this, so I don't know. I might, I might be convinced to let this one go because you know, I, I see damage numbers as the best thing, and you're know, losing a couple of special stats here and there. Doesn't lend itself well to most things. I've struggled with carry weight because how much am I losing? Twelve. If I do an addictal, how much am I gonna gain back? Like. Okay, not many at all, but all of my other stats just came back, and I would have dropped, dropped a bunch of damage too, so I can't show you the end result, but... There you have it! It's it's good. Where am I 
getting my agility from? I don't. I don't know. Oh, bird bones. Duh. Okay, cool. <laughs> I forgot about that. Anyways, so if you'd like to see this thing in your game, shoot me an offer, but it better be something real good, son. Otherwise, I'm not going to give this up. I know the value of this weapon. You know it now, because I've just slaughtered heaps of stuff with it super easily. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, guys.